Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a new Deep Dives video from Auto Legends. The update today went live, 0.7.2. There's a bunch of changes. You can even see some of them here on the screen right now, like the uh, vehicle condition. You can sell your cars. Daniel's races, what the heck is that? And there's a couple other new things in the game as well. But right now, we're going to go over the changelog that Ichiban graciously put on the Discord for everybody to see and kind of digest. So let's go over at least the visuals at the very top, and then we'll move on and I'll actually show them to you. So there are three new cars that might show up under bot racing. They are not quite ready for players to have them in hand yet, though. Um, 04 Chevy Corvette, 05 Dodge Neon SRT4, which is a crowd favorite all the way since 1320 Challenge, and a 98 Subaru Impreza 22B. There are three new wheels, the Weld S71s, the KMG T1 Magnesiums, and the Work Emotion D9Rs, as well as a new drag tire from Hoosier. There are some exterior part changes uh, to the O2 and O5 WRX and STIs. There's a new front end conversion for the Type R Integra. There is a full body kit that might show up on the Chevy Corvette if you see one in the wild. And some of the NSX stuff got a little bit reworked. So. Let's move over to Speed Lab, and we will look at some of the new parts. You know, I'll give you a little bit of a hint here. Here's the drag tire. Pretty sick. But let's go over to Speed Lab, and I'll show you guys the new wheels. Did my voice just crack? That's okay. So the three new wheels, like I said, uh, that's the second time that's happened. I'm going to have to bug that. That's never happened before until... Like, basically right now. Um, it happened on a previous recording as well, and I don't know why. But anyway, here's the work emotion. I wonder if they're named. I, I need to bug it. I don't know which spot they're actually named incorrectly. Um, but here they are, those new wheels, which look sick. There's also the KMGT1 Magnesiums and these work S1Rs, which are also pretty sick. So on this, at least, I'm going to put, you know, I'm going to take the Honda card here and just swap those wheels real quick. You know, one on the front, one on the back. And there were a couple things that kind of changed around. As you can see, there's a lot more stuff for front bumpers when it comes to the Subarus. So we're going to go through all these front bumpers here. We'll go through all these visuals. But actually, you know what? Let me paint the car white so it's easier to see them. Do this. Car is painted. We can see the changes better. So there's all these different bumpers. I love this bumper. It looks so happy. Like it, it it's so smiley. Ah, the yellow fogs. Thick. Ooh, those look sweet. Those add your little uh, hella horns in there, which are sick. All right, cool. So those are all your front bumpers. Side skirts. There's a couple of them. Diffusers. There's only one. That's fine, though. Different hoods. Just depending on how you're feeling. A couple different roof things, like the little uh, wing things. There's a wing there and a carbon fiber. I forget what those are called. Vortex generator. Ooh, fancy. So carbon fiber trunk and a debadged trunk for those of you who like to debadge. There are some wings, which is awesome. This thing is just ridiculous, but I love it. There's a couple headlight chain or there's one headlight, one custom one. You can add some eyelids. And then there's the wheels, which is pretty sweet. So those are the changes for the Subaru so far. Let's take a look and maybe I'll build this up a little bit real quick just to add a little bit of power to it. Want the nitrous. Let's see. Suspension adds weight. That's okay. Let's just do some stuff that adds, uh, adds some horsepower and rigidity. Oh, give me a tune. Go and turbo upgrade. Gain a little bit if I do a turbo upgrade. Some exhaust work. Eh, that's okay. Actually, no. 
Anyway, let's go back and grab, actually, I want to grab the Honda Civic, the starter car that everybody starts with. I forgot to mention, there is now a starter car. Everybody starts their brand new account with a Honda Civic DX. Now, this car is fun to build, and I'm going to definitely build a, or do a deep dive uh, car build on the Civic DX. This is one of my favorite cars to race now. No shot, no arguments. I love racing this thing. So anyway, let's look at the change log and go over a few other uh, changes here. So they added Daniel's races, which are kind of like daily races you can run once in a while to gain a little bit of cash. So we'll go check that out real quick. Basically, it's this. Now, since my Civic is stock, I'm not going to... I, I can definitely win the easy race, but I'm probably not going to win the medium and hard races. So I don't want to run those. So let me build my Civic a little bit, and I'll come back. I went with kind of a realistic Honda backyard build. So it's about 150 horsepower. Uh, fun little car. So I'm going to do the easy race here first, because I don't know what it's going to run. I just put a couple of parts on it. And just some stuff to do real quick, basically. So this is going to load us in on 6th Street, which is pretty sweet. And we're going to do a race against the first AI. There we go. So this one, I do believe, auto launches at the easy uh, level. There are the two different camera views still, which is sick. But we are going to launch right here. I like to rev about 72% with this car, maybe 73 <laughs> Cool beans, let's go. <laughs> yes, I did put nitrous on a backyard built Honda Civic. I don't care what you think. <laughs> anyway, though so we left easy in the dust, so let's maybe go after the medium difficulty here and uh, see if we can beat medium. So I want 13.3, it looks like, 13.4 with RT. Maybe 13.5 with RT. 13.45, cool. Now we're going to go do, let's try medium. I think you can do three in a row. And the whole point is to kind of gain these milestone points. And as you gain milestone points, you basically unlock, you know, currency and stuff like that. I think there is a plan on putting car parts in here as well, but that just isn't set up yet, which is okay. You know, development takes time. Be patient. I promise. It'll get there. I promise you. Anyway. So this is going to be the second race. This is the medium difficulty. I know with the way this car is built right now, I definitely can't win the hard difficulty, but that's okay. So we'll get these cars lined up here. I'm going to go with this camera view. I like this one a little bit more. Uh, sometimes for stuff like this. Hit them with a little nitrous purge. And it auto launches here as well. I forgot about that. Oh, I might lose this. Yeah, I lost this. That's okay, though. But that's basically what Daniel's Races is. is just like a daily challenge that you can run a couple of them, gain some milestone points, and gain some currency. Which is sweet. So, there we go. I tried. I wasn't going to win that. But, let's look at the next, uh, the rest of the change log here. Oh, I need to unminimize that, don't I? <laughs> So next up, the daily log login rewards. Uh, I'll show you that real quick. Those should auto pop up on your first login of the day. So as you can see right here, I already got my 300 currency and my 250, or this is what I'm waiting on. In two hours, I'll get this. And then eventually, if you scroll all the way down, you see you just kind of gain currency as you play, which is, you know, same as any other game with a login bonus. There are leaderboards. I forgot about the leaderboards. Um, no one's ran pink slips yet, so it doesn't matter. There's a couple quarter mile times on the leaderboard, which is sweet. There's trap speed, which is not working. I'll bug that up. And then there's just number of wins so far, which is cool. We're going to go back. Um, oh, my God. Could you even see what I was pointing at? No, you couldn't. I'm sorry. All right. So quarter mile times, trap speeds this i'm not redoing this again <laughs> sometimes it gets sloppy i'm sorry uh there's a new inbox go back to the game
this will basically be used as like if there is a gift from somebody else or like a gift from the staff or something like that. Basically, it just gets added to your account and you can open it up that way. Uh, there is a sell car functionality I was talking about. You can sell your car. Pretty sweet. There is car damage and repair functionality. It's kind of basic still, but as you can see, now my car is fixed. And I guess maybe some of you, I don't know if they plan on adding repair timers like they have with part timers. Um, I can find out if anybody's curious though. There is the ability to join friends in meetups. There is an exit button to the main menu is fixed. Basically a bunch of just bug fixes and little things like that is basically what the change log is from there on out. So let's go to the hangers real quick. Let's see who's hanging out. And we'll go from there. So who's all in here? I bet some people are in here. It seems like the community is very 50-50. Where do they want to hang out? Users in here. Let's see who's down at the bottom. Oh, it's just me. Everybody else must be on 6th Street, which is fine. Or they're building cars because, you know, we can now. That's one of the big changes. I forgot completely. Um, a bunch of the cars got to rework with their parts in the speed lab and actually make horsepower and stuff like that if you build your cars. So, you know. For example, uh, many people remember the Honda Civic DX didn't really make any power if you built it up. But now if you do, you know, it actually makes proper power and all that. So like if I just add, you know, let's do the exhaust and a turbo real quick. Uh, there we go. And then turbo. Oh, that's intercooler. I'm losing my mind. There we go. And, you know, we buy it. Uh, do I have the best? I this right here already makes more horsepower than the previous uh, car did, I believe on 0.7.1 but you know like i said i'll make a deep dive video on purposely building up this car which will be awesome so let's you know other than that pretty sick update there are a bunch of cars and fast eddies like i said majority of cars had their parts reworked i think there's still a few that need tweaking um and we do know that there's still some bugs here and there but it's definitely definitely gonna be a good time now Ooh, this baby blue though that is a nice blue i like the green next to it too it's a nice green one too anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this deep dive into the change log i'll talk to you guys later peace out